How does it feel to be here tonight at the 15th annual BIFA Awards presenting one as well? Very exciting, yeah. Um, I think it's going to be a really fun evening. It's often, uh, I've been before and people are in a very Christmassy mood, so, so there's lots of celebration. And what have you enjoyed particularly this year in your own career? Um, well, I just uh, finished a film with Ray Fiennes called The Invisible Woman which was an extraordinary experience, um, and Kristen Scott Thomas, and just to be with those two people who I've grown up watching and admiring and trying to uh, learn as much as possible from them. And what can you look forward to next from you? So uh, I'm going to Sundance in January. I have a film called Breathe In, um, which we're showing for the first time uh, out in Sundance. Can you give us a little bit of insight into that film? Um, well, it's about a relationship between uh, a younger woman who comes to live with an American family and about her, how her presence changes the dynamic of that family. It's with Guy Pearce and Amy Ryan, who are both incredible. Um, yeah, so quite a, 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 a sort of darker story than, than others that I've made before. And going forward, what would you like to be working on next? Oh gosh. Well, you never know really until you until you read the right thing and then and then it hits you. So I just try and be as open as possible and 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 see what comes along. And is it important for you to work in the British film industry and in independent film as well? Yeah, definitely absolutely. I mean, without independent film, I mean, if you look in the past, you wouldn't have got all the great films that we've seen. It's it's absolutely vital that it's supported because you can tell more unusual stories. You can take risks in a way that sometimes you can't with higher budget pictures. So tonight you've been presenting an award, haven't you? Now tell me a little bit about what that means to you. Um, well, it's, I, it's so good, anyway, I was saying earlier, because I think independent film is in the process of a, a very exciting time, but, but quite a difficult time, um, obviously. So it's nice that everyone can get together and celebrate, or it's attempt to celebrate the amazing stories and amazing acting that, that we've seen in the last few months and I've just been so enthralled by broken and sightseers and, and seeing unusual stories told in, a, in an exciting way. What are the films that you've seen this year that have meant a lot to you in terms of independent movies? Um, well those two, I mean I was just, uh, sightseers, I don't know if you've seen it but it just totally <laughs> was just blew my mind. I mean he mm -hmm is a phenomenal filmmaker and I was just so excited to see, see something that's completely breaking genre or you know it's not a costume drama it's not a social drama it's it's expanding both of those kind of limitations and in terms of indie filmmakers and actors who are out there who would you love to work with next um well I'd love to well I've been watching a lot of uh, Sofia Coppola recently I'm a huge fan of her films and I'm looking forward to her new film that's coming out next year